What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for MLB Friday, May 21st. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top DFS picks for today's MLB slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a 15 game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the pitcher position. I'm not gonna mess around here. I'm gonna pay up. I like Trevor Bauer pitching against the San Francisco Giants. Trevor Bauer is only giving up a .437 OPS versus righties, and he's facing five righties here tonight. On top of that, the Giants haven't hit a ball off of Tre Trevor Bauer, although he's only thrown seven pitches, so it's a super small sample size. But Trevor Bauer is 11,800 FanDuel salary and 100 more on DraftKings. So he's expensive, but there's a few value plays on the slate considering we got a 15 game slate here. So he's projected at 41.3 fantasy points here tonight. He has an ERA of 2.20. His record is four and two on the season, pitching an average of 104 pitches per game. He's averaging 46 fantasy points per game and he scored 61, 43, and 31 fantasy points in the last three games. And I like this pick because Vegas thinks there's gonna be this is gonna be a low scoring game. Only seven runs scored in this game. That's their over under. So I like Trevor Bauer here versus the San Francisco Giants. Now, if you do wanna save a little bit of salary, uh, especially on DraftKings under 10K, take a look at Carlos Rodon with a 25% bat, uh, pitching advantage over the New York Yankees. Carlos Rodon, he pitches his best ball versus righty batters, only giving up a .503 OPS versus righties. He's facing seven righties. And on top of that, the Yankees have only hit eight of his last 44 pitches. That's a 182 batting average with a, with a pretty decent sample size. He's 10,400 FanDuel salary, and he's 500 less on DraftKings. Projected at 33.4 fantasy points here tonight. He has an ERA of 1.47. Record is 5-1 on the season. Pitching an average of 103 pitches per game. Averaging 47 fantasy points per game. And he scored 20, 52, and 61 fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Carlos Rodon here versus the New York Yankees. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Now guys, just as a quick note, we just released a free DFS contest on Draft Dashboard for MLB and NBA for DraftKings and FanDuel. There's over $500 available in the prize pool. And this is a totally free contest you can enter as a Draft Dashboard member. So make sure to click the link in the description of this video Give Draft Dashboard a try, and you can start playing in our free DFS contest and compete to win some money. Okay, let's take a look at the first base position. I like Jared Walsh with an 80% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, James Caprillion. Jared Walsh bats 34% better versus righty pitchers, batting a 1.086 OPS versus righties. And James Caprillion, he throws his worst ball versus lefty batters. Actually, he throws 46% worse to lefties as he does righties, giving up a .920 OPS versus lefties. 
There's no at-bats versus Caprillion yet. And Jared Walsh is 3,400 FanDuel salary, and he's 1,400 more on DraftKings. Projected at 11.1 fantasy points here tonight. He's averaged 11 fantasy points per game on the season, and he scored 0 and 19 fantasy points in the last two games. And I like this pick because Vegas thinks this is going to be a high-scoring game. 9.5 runs scored in this game. That's their over-under. It's a good matchup here. So I like Jared Walsh here versus James Caprillion. Okay, let's take a look at the second base position. I like Nico Horner with a 28% batting advantage over Carlos Martinez. Nico Horner, he's batting 4% better versus righty pitchers, giving up a .734 OPS versus righties. And Carlos Martinez throws his worst ball versus righty batters, 23% worse than his other pitches, giving up a .943 OPS versus righties. Now, Nico is 0 for 1 versus Martinez, but he's only 2,700 fan duel salary, and he's 1,400 more on DraftKings. He's projected at 9.2 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 10 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 6, 7, and 15 fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Nico Horner here versus Carlos Martinez. Okay, let's take a look at the third base position. I like Jameer Candelario with a 64% batting advantage over Mike Miner. Jameer is batting 20% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a .974 OPS versus lefties. And Mike Miner throws his worst ball by far to switch hitters. 44% worse than his other pitches, giving up a 1.272 OPS versus switch hitters. And I like this pick because Jameer is 5 for 10 with a 500 batting average and a 1.5 OPS versus minor. He's 2,700 FanDuel salary and 1,100 more on DraftKings. He's projected at 10.2 fantasy points here tonight. He's averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season, and he scored three, 34, and three fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Jameer Candelario here versus Mike Miner. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, who do we have at the shortstop position? Another value play for you. I like Freddie Galvis with a 55% batting advantage over Steven Strasburg. Freddie Galvis, he bats a little bit better versus righty pitchers batting a .759 OPS versus righties. And Steven Strasburg, he pitches his worst ball by far to switch hitters. 50% worse than his other pitches, giving up a 1.494 OPS versus switch hitters. Now, there is one note of concern on this pick. Freddie Galvis is only six for 32 with a 188 batting average versus Strasburg batting a .485 OPS. So he does not have good player versus pitcher history, but he is only 2,700 FanDuel salary and he's 400 more on DraftKings. So I like that price on DraftKings if you wanna take a shot on him as a value play to try to open up some salary for the rest of your lineup. He's projected at 8.8 .8 fantasy points here tonight, averaging eight fantasy points per game on the season. He scored three, 22, and nine fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Freddie Galvis on DraftKings, maybe on FanDuel, 
here versus Stefan Strasburg. Okay, moving on to the outfield position. I like Jesse Winker with a 46% batting advantage over Adrian Hauser. Jesse Winker is batting 28% better versus righty pitchers. He's batting a 1.011 OPS versus righties. And Adrian Hauser, he's pitching 18% worse to lefties than he does righties, giving up a .808 OPS versus lefties. And I like this pick because Jesse Winker is 5 for 10, batting 500, and a 1.9 OPS versus Hauser. Three of those five hits are for home runs. He's 3,700 FanDuel salary, and he's 1,800 more on DraftKings. Projected at 11.7 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 13 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored three, three, and 22 fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Jesse Winker here versus Adrian Hauser. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.